Lizzie. So today I tweeted with everything has changed in quotes and I was not referring to the Taylor Swift song But I was referring to learning the perfect tense in Greek because that's what we did this week If you're new to my channel, I'm taking Koine Greek or Biblical Greek at Pepperdine right now and it's my favorite class So perfect tense in Greek is a present state affected by a past action or like a past action that had effects going into the present The crazy thing about perfect tense is that you can't really translate it over into English, but it does work in passive tense for example it is written is an example of perfect because you're talking about it is but written so like that's the past action that's affected like you reading it right now but most perfect tenses which are present all throughout the New Testament can't really be put into English and this isn't like a translation error I mean it doesn't change it doesn't really change the meaning it's just Greek is more specific and the English language isn't specific like that my like, professor told us the, uh, the example of John 4 Peter says we believe and know and that's perfect tense so it's like we believed in God, which is like extending into the future. We know the truth, which is extending into the future. Another cool example is I am saved. There is a point where you were saved, but you're still being saved. Or when you say I'm baptized in English, you were baptized, but that salvation extends into the future. I feel like I want to reread the entire New Testament in my Greek Bible, even though I won't understand a bunch of it just to like pick up on the perfect tenses because it's so much more powerful. The perfect tense implies this life-changing implication and at the Passion Conference something they said is everything has changed and I think that really applies to this. I have my English on my phone. On 1 John 1 it's it has ho ake koamen in it. Ake koamen is perfect and translates as we have heard, which is actually translates into English really well. In 1 John 2, 18, it talks about how the Antichrist is coming. Gegonasin is a perfect verb that has not been translated into a perfect in English because we can't. And then one of my favorites is in chapter 4 in verse 7. The last part says, Kai pas ho agapol ek tu teu gegenem thai kai ginos kai tondeon. Everyone who loves ek tu out of God, gegenem is born out of God, or like is birthed. <laughs> it actually means is birthed out of God <laughs> and knows God. But um, the ongoing implication of that is like you're born of God, but it's not just like you're born. It's because you like choose to become a Christian, and it like transforms you. This birthing word is used all over first. John. It's used in chapter 5 too. It's so funny because I get really annoyed at like really literal translations of the Bible but then you like translate it on your own and you're like wow. When I look at my Bible and translate it it's like so stilted and you really have to kind of see it as an art to make it make sense. Okay this has nothing to do with perfect but I really like it. First John verse 19. hoti autos protos et capesen hemas which says subjunctive no yeah no no it's a co contract agapao is an ao contract verb we love us or we love each other toti because a gaposan he first loved us I love that so much. It's so cool when I see a verse and I know all the words in it and I'm able to just read it in Greek and understand it in Greek. Siri, stop my music. Okay, the music stopped. Thanks, you're the best. I don't know what you mean by being so the best. No, thank you. You are the best. I love you. Aww. Someone commented on one of my videos wanting me to talk about Greek more and I will make plenty more videos on it because it's my favorite part of Pepperdine and I really encourage all of you guys to take Greek at college and if you come to Pepperdine we have the most excellent awesome epic Greek professor here. Anyways I just wanted to share perfect tense with you guys. Cause I know you were trouble when you walked in But now with someone new I watched love begin again